Hello everyone, we're here with some more Madden. We're going to play the first game, which is going to be against the Packers, so it's going to be preseason. And I'll be starting on all pro difficulty because I want to get used to the new additions they added to the game. But as soon as I start doing better or worse, I'll adjust the difficulty to my liking. But for now, I'm going to keep it at all pro. So, alright, let's go. Clear cap penalties. Alright. How can I play my game, please? Team schedule. Select an aug action. Force home. What? Uh. The frick? This is a bad start. God dang it. Members, manage, things to do. Start playing here, yes. Ah, that was a great freaking start. Aw, how dare you make my freaking team not look very good. How dare you. 80 overall. Freaking suck my nuts, freaking Madden. You freaking jerk offs. Turn my commentary up a little bit. Let's see here. I'll turn this up slightly. There we go. See how that sounds. Alan Robinson. Oh, yeah. Michael Finley. Probably never see him again. <laughs> Unfortunately. 40 confidence. Confidence. DeMarco Murray. All right. Let's Hello see the everyone. opening. I'm Larry Ridley, and this is the NFL on EA Sports. In today's game, we have a matchup of two Pro Bowl running backs. It's DeMarco Murray versus Le'Veon Bell. Uh-oh. So now let's go to Foxborough, Massachusetts, where Jim and Phil have the call. Packers, Patriots, coming up here on EA Sports as we get set for the opening week of preseason football in the NFL. Hello, friends. Jim Nance along with Phil Sims. Just prior to kickoff for this primetime extravaganza, and this adds another whole layer of excitement when you have this game under the light. I think you said it right. Center stage, players love it. Anytime you turn on the lights, they know it's special, and it brings out the emotion out of these players. And also, don't, let's don't forget, the fans, they've been here all afternoon getting ready, so we're going to have a loud crowd also. The Patriots are ready to all run right, back here we this go. kick. At least I don't have to worry about my Looks my quarterback being suspended. And with that kick, we're underway. Okay, here we go. Murray's got a chance to return this one. Oh, go, 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 go. Got a big lane. What a fantastic start. <laughs> you can never talk enough about special teams in the NFL. Right. It really is a third of the game. Awesome and when you start. get a kick return for a touchdown, that just gives you so much momentum. Look at the blocks. Look at the speed of the returner. Great job leads to a touchdown. Now they come out for the point after. Of course, this year, the new rule, the PAT, is snapped from the 15-yard line, making the point after 13 yards longer than the pass, a 33-yard point after attempt. No return. The ball's coming out to the 20. 
Foles is of course going to be uh -oh, the main quarterback Nick Foles. today. Now better look out. quarterback with four years under his belt. Well, we've talked about Nick Foles before. Really good athlete, uh, excellent basketball player, and he's just as calm as any quarterback you'll see in the NFL. No matter what the situation, he remains calm and just tries to get the job done. All right, here we go. First down at the 20. Foles, handoff. And Vontaze Perfect brings him down. Oh, yeah. He is one of the smoothest, most effective running backs in the NFL, Le'Veon Bell. Who said the Big Ten can't turn out great running backs? I used to hear that statement. Well, you could take that statement and throw it in the trash because Le'Veon Bell is an outstanding running back in the NFL. Oh, yeah. It is truly a bonus when you can take your outside linebacker and let him rush the quarterback and he can get a sack. Nice job that time by the outside linebacker. Third down after the sack. Nick Foles from the shotgun. Looking at every option. Oh. And it's just thrown away. Some early struggles on both sides of the ball. Their defense has already been scored upon, and now the offense is going to have to give the football right back. Well, they did, and listen, I'll say this. Now it's time for the defense to come back out on the field and stop this, play with more intensity, and get this game changed around. Curley's got it now. Picks up eight. Oh, darn it. I turn this down a little bit more. Starting at quarterback out of Florida State, the former Heisman Trophy winner, right Jameis there. Winston. Hopefully that might well, be good. A couple things I like about Jameis Winston. I like his size. I oh, like his natural Jameis. leadership abilities. And listen, he was okay. groomed at Florida State to be a professional quarterback. So the transition for him should be a lot easier than other rookie quarterbacks in this league. First down at the 50. And the give now to Marco Murray. Williams there to make the stop. Look forward to Marco Murray to carry the load today at running back. Well, you know he's going to be very motivated, that's for sure. When you talk about DeMarco Murray, he is a workhorse who can take the carries and can take the punishment. Second down and eight. What the frick happened? We got hit. In that secondary, a surefire future. Hall of Famer, cornerback, Darrell Rivas. Yeah, I know the coaches are happy to have him on that defensive side, too, because you can be so creative when you have a corner of his talent. And he has shown year after year that he is the number one cover corner in the NFL. Third and eight. Reception all alone. Yeah, I gotta get used to that. A lot of people have to do a good job on play action passes for him to work. And this time, watch the running back. Nice job selling the fake, and it helps the QB. First down coming up. This play set up by the long gainer. DeMarco Murray gets the handoff. Williams is yeah. in on the tackle. Right. Murray's a very smart runner. He knows situations in the game. He saw the first down yard markers, and what does he do? He gets past them and picks up the first down. First and ten. The catch is made. That's a gain of six. The Patriots offensive coordinator does a good job that time calling the pass down here in the red zone. Caught the defense off guard. They got the completion for a good game. That short pass play picked up six. It's now second down and four. Now on, let's go. What? Uh. And now here's Murray. Oh, on the they ran right through. Darn it. The Patriots running back that time. He makes a bad decision. You can't be looking to make every play a big play when you're running the football. Look for a few yards. Take advantage of that. He tries for the big play. What happens? He gets tackled for a loss. Let's go. 
snap it out of the gun. Look at that concentration yeah. as he makes the grab. Jim, the defense gives up the first down that time inside the red zone, but there's only so many things the offense can do. Let's see if they can hold them. First and goal. Murray's got it. Ah, oh, darn it. This will be the eighth play of this drive. Second and goal from the six. Winston's going to take off with it. And it's uh. batted down. Tim, I love these situations. Third and goal, what are they going to call? Are they Are going to run the football? Are they Are going to go with a pass? And if it is a pass, I will look for something quick. Third and goal at the six. Hurley's going to start the handoff. Should be what we call a gimme. It converts on the three. And this was the vision of Robert Kraft to build the state-of-the-art arena here in Foxborough, Massachusetts, and the home of the Patriots. Lane's got it. And they're all over him at the 18-yard line. And Bell on his way back onto the field. They've fallen behind here, and maybe it has something to do with the fact that he hasn't really been able to do anything on the ground at this point. Oh, I think it's everything to do with why they're behind in this game so far here today, Jim. And listen, the coach has got to call some different plays. What they've been running has not ah. worked. Time for a different look. That's his first reception today. Arm strength is a nice thing to have when the window of opportunity is very small. Quarterbacks with strong arms can still fire it in there. Nice throw right on target by the QB. First and ten. To Ebron. The Packers get a first down. Darn it. Hard to guard these tight ends now in the NFL. It really puts the defense in like a quandary. Do we use a big guy? Well, the big guy's not fast enough. We use a small guy. Well, he's not big enough. They get pushed around. I don't know what you're going to do. Just make sure you're a good tackler after they catch Flyer going to take the handoff from the eye. Dwyer is in the backfield. And a flag is down. Uh oh. Neutral zone infraction. Ha, 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 ha. Jerk off. Defense was trying to guess the snap count, and it cost them there. What the freak? Oh, I thought it was freaking, um, freaking false start. Darn it. I only called myself a jerk off. Wonderful. Oh, you jerk. With the catch. Anytime you have a play action pass as a quarterback, make sure you sell that fake and then look up, find that coverage, decide where to throw the football. That was a nice job that time. Now it's three for three with that completion. First down and ten. Martin's the one who made the big stop. Good job by the defense. They stopped the first down play that time by the offense, and now they have a good situation. Mallet's got two tight ends on the field for this snap. Second down and a long way to go. And they're all over oh, it the oh. Beautiful timing that time by the safety. That's what it's about when you talk about blitzing. Space the field properly so the safety has a lane to run into and timing the snap of the ball. They did everything right that time. Good job of the safety getting that sack. Two hands on the football and has the catch. Good job by the defense. Uh, they're well taught, well schooled by the defensive coordinator. They know in situations like this, if it's thrown short of the first down marker, 
They're good. They come up, make the tackle. Now we have fourth down. Drives it through for the field goal. Well, when you get points, it's never a bad thing. That is right. for sure. Good job by the field goal kicker Scored that time. For a second nice hand. job by the offense moving the football down the field. Murray's running this one out. And he's tackled just past the 20. We'll mark it at the 22-yard line. The Packers' defense comes out for the start of the new drive after allowing a field goal the last time. Jim, they hope to play better this time. You take the information that you've learned from from the last drive, they go out there and correct some of those mistakes. The Patriots from the 22. They'll run it off the toss. We've hit the two-minute warning nice. here in the first half. We've got a defense out on that field trying to stand tall and keep this deficit as it is on the scoreboard. Quick drop back. Makes the reception. Gets about four yards that time. That was a nice reception, but not enough for the first down. Second down coming up. Just a quick drop back. Oh, the receiver turns oh. around and defends the pass and takes away what would have been a pick. What? Well, the defense has got a lot of that. They happened. love it when a quarterback <laughs> is uneasy for whatever reason or just not in rhythm. That time they see him throw off the back foot and the throw goes incomplete. McCarron's alone in the backfield. The Patriots from the 37. Brings it in. Yes. And he's taken down, but not until he picks up the first. A minute and a half to go in the first half. And it's a first down. Get ready. Get ready. From the shotgun. He'll throw it over the middle. Tackle down right around the 48. That little throw was good for only three. So it's now second down and seven. Let's go. McCarron's got it in the gun. Looking wrong. Oh, oh. Oh, no, no, oh, good man, the secondary. of course he drops They're in good it. position, they make the play, and it's an incomplete pass by the quarterback. The Patriots get set at the line and need to get to the 46 for a first. What the frick was that? That was terrible. That time as he threw it short. That was Man, freaking the balls. The coaches, his teammates, everybody loves to see a player give that type of effort. How about the receiver just going all out to make the catch? Doesn't quite get there, but the effort is outstanding. That punt sets up the defense now in excellent position as they're able to down the football inside the 10. Le'Veon Bell coming onto the field now. He hasn't made much of an impact in this game, Phil, and that's caused problems for his side. Yeah, listen, he is the center of their football team. I and mean, he goes well, of course, the team goes well. So they've got to find a way to get him started. How do you do that? Is it a trick play? I don't know. But get him going. Tell that offensive line to toughen up, and this game will change around. Second down after that pass play. Mallets back in shotgun formation. Uh, no, Bell no. The catch. Bell's tackled down at the 36. The Packers call a timeout and are left now with only one. Coming to the line at the 36-yard line. Let's see how they back up the big play here. Mallet's going to take it from the gun. Surveys. This play will hold up. He's inbounds. Well, when you keep chipping away with these short throws, sooner or later, that defense is going to come up. And when they come up, that's when you throw it over the top. Mallet now completed his last seven passes. The Packers take it from the 33. And they oh. take it down. Third down on the way. 
good job by the offense here. Hustle up, get that football snap, conserve time, and most of all, conserve that time. Oh. Big down the stretch. Oh. the way this defense has played in the first half, Phil. Jim, I like the way they're playing. They're playing smart. They're extremely aggressive, which I always love on the defensive side, and they got rewarded there getting off the field on third down. Oh, freaking awesome no kick, bro. No good. That would have taken some of the pressure off them going into halftime. Instead, the lead is going to stay right where it is. I don't think the coach is going to be mad at the field goal kicker. I think he's going to be mad at his offense because they failed to convert on third down when the opportunity All right, was Brian Tim. Let's see how you are, freaking the field. It wasn't deep, a very productive possession for the last time out, partner. They ended up on Say that, you jerk off. A good feeling out the process. Game. So they got some knowledge by watching the defense and what defenses ah. they tried on them. So you've got to take advantage of that knowledge and come out here and make some plays. So far, wonderful execution this drive. When you get a chance to get out of bounds, here the offensive player got the yardage, had a chance, gets All out right, of bounds, stops the clock. Good job by the offense. Two tight ends on the field here. The Patriots snap it at the 41. Looking long. Wow. The first half is complete. That Larry was Ridley is ready to take things over back in our studios. And you're watching Oops. the NFL on EA Sports. The second half is officially underway. Lane's taking a knee. Ball will be spotted at the 20. Through that offensive line and put it from the start. Jim, I would say that you are right. They're, they're busting through. They're running over. Whatever you want, they are getting it done. Wires lined up now as the running back behind the quarterback. The third quarter begins with this play. Rocked for a loss on that tackle. The Patriots defense is so fast and so powerful. That time of the run play, they just overpower the offensive line and they tackle the runner for a loss. Let's go. Second and 12. Dwyer's got it on the handle. Oh, oh, oh. What the frick? Ah, the Packers everyone got my up. He has to be frustrated nice. by that play. I think he calls the right play. But what happens to run loses yards? That's just a bad job on the offensive line. Loss of three on the play. Third and forever. Uh, oh! Pass ball. Complete. Darn it. They failed to pick up a first down on this series. And so far, the third quarter has been a carbon copy of what we saw in the first half. It's been a great effort by this defense, Phil. Yeah, they, they didn't change anything after halftime. They went in and said, everything we're doing is working, so why change? And we saw the results. Murray's got it on the return. Ah! That returns good for about 29. Murray's able to show off his talent on that pump return that time. What speed and quickness that allows him to break through some of that coverage and picks up good yards. The Patriots take the field here in the second half, looking to extend their lead in this one, Parker. Yeah, you know what you do? It's halftime is over. You come out here. You're not sure what the new game plan is going to be, but feel your way into the game. Don't take a chance early and turn oh, the football oh. Go, 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 go. Into the open. Oh, yeah. Hightower's there to take him down. That's what you want to do. Just get a first down, especially when you're on top. Keep the clock moving. Keep the defense guessing. Make them react instead of attack. First down at the 16. Oh. He held on to it too long. Mother fricker. Outside linebackers who can get to the quarterback. They are a rare breed in the NFL because it takes talent, size, speed, everything to do it as a linebacker. And we Let's saw it that it. time on display. The Patriots take it from the 20. Ooh, come on. No! Can't bring it in. Come on, that man. Probably go as a drop. 
That incompletion by the quarterback, hey, I give the quarterback no fault. That was just tremendous coverage by the That's secondary crap, player. Man. Come He's on. He's in position and That's able two to drops by uh, Aaron make the football be Come on, man. The Packers lined up in Let's the nickel. Go. The Patriots take it from the 28. Oh, oh come on, man. Incomplete. Uh. <laughs> well, they always say if you get your hands on the football, you got to make the catch. Yeah, Darn right. it, The guy man. that made that rule up wasn't getting hit as he was trying to catch the football. Nice hit that time by the defender. The kick is through for three. Midway, third quarter, and another three added to the lead, Phil. How about it? Yeah, listen, it's been impressive. I like everything they're doing. That time they got down there and got the field goal. But on the other side, the coaching has been absolutely horrible, and you deserve to be losing. The Patriots' defense, Phil, has been the driving force in this game from the start, and nothing has changed in the third quarter. Well, they went into halftime, and they made no adjustments. They like what they saw. So what I like about this defense, Jim, they're game tackling, and that's that's just a great thing for a defense. Jonathan Dwyer makes ah, the match. Come on. That picks up 11. Well, when you're down a couple scores in the second half, you're just looking for some positives and trying to get some momentum on your side. So that first down by the offense, maybe that'll give them some confidence, and we'll see where they go with it from here. Mallet's completion percentage, 80% on the day. Over to Ebron, and he's on the sidelines and out of bounds. Well, I guess the only good thing you can say about that play, the quarterback's happy, he gets the completion. But it only goes for a couple play yards. like this, darn it. Second and eight. Gets the handle here. Dwyer's tackle right at the 35. Oh, if I you switch. want to run the football with success, you're going to have plays like this where they pick up very little yardage. Don't listen to the fans. Keep running it, and it'll work. The Patriots will use a darn it out here early oh, nice. in the second half. Press something. Following that timeout, switch. defense back out on the field. Third and six. Oh, come on. Up. I don't want to play like this. Bell's a receiver all the way oh, out God. to the right. There's a momentum killer right there. The flag comes out. I think we have a false start. Boy, coaches talk about it so much. Penalties before the snap of the ball. Might we be out three. Avoid them and the no. The split backfield. Third and 11. Oh, come on. Bell's got it on a pass that had some heat. <laughs> the Packers put themselves in a terrible situation. Third and long, but you know what? They got a lot of talent on the offensive side, and that was an awesome job of picking up that first down. First and ten. Dwyer's handed the football. They are in the backfield in a hurry and will bring him down for a loss behind the line of scrimmage. The Patriots guessed right on the defensive side that time. They thought it was going to be a run play. They were all over it and they got it in the backfield and made the tackle. It's a two tight end formation. He's going to get another carry. Good work by the defense. This will be a loss of three. Well, when you get in situations like this, third long, you've got to be smart on the offensive side. Yeah, I know you want to pick up the first down, but don't force it because if you do, it'll probably lead to a turnover. Third and long. Launches it down the field. Pulls really? That was a nice gain on that play that time. Well designed by the offensive coordinator. Yeah, it was a good throw and catch. But that time, I'm giving all the credit to the, to the design of the play. That's what made it happen. Mallet's now completed four in a row. Coming to the line at the 38. Let's go. He'll take the snap, the first here in the fourth quarter. And he's taken down. 
Well, it's all about timing. I got to tell you something. The safety did a wonderful job timing the snap count that time. Caught everybody off guard, and he gets the sack on the QB. Dwyer on the receiving end. Dwyer's tackled down at the 38. Well, when you get the situation like this, Jim, and you get third and long, I'll tell you what catches a defense by surprise. Run a double move on the outside against the defensive back because everybody in the stands and the defensive players all think you're going to throw it short. Third and ten coming up. The Patriots with two no. extra defensive backs in the dime. The Packers take it from the 38. And they get the sack. Well, it's a game of chances in the NFL. It's third down. The defensive coordinator said, let's get after this quarterback. He sends the extra guys. He blitzes him. And they get there before the quarterback can react. They bring back out the offense to go for it. Mallets all by himself in the backfield for this snap. Out of the shotgun formation. Launching it deep. Oh, the yes, he dropped the ball over on downs. Early in this final quarter, and it's the defense that's able to step up and seize control of this game. Nice job by the defense. I like what they did there that time on that fourth down play. I got to say this, Jim. What was the offense thinking? Two things. Why did they go for it, and why did they choose to play that didn't work? When you run the football like this and you show toughness, there is no doubt when you fake it and try to throw the football down the field, the quarterback's going to have all day to get it done. Let's go. The Patriots will take the snap from the 45. Curley's back go. at the 37. If you're running back and you want more carries, do things like this. Read the defense right, read the blocking, and pick up first downs. That's a really good job by the running back. Let's go, please, please. First and ten. Toss play. What the frick was that? I wanted to run outside. Shutting this play down for a loss. The line of scrimmage is the 38-yard line. Three step drop. What the, of the field and incomplete this time. Defense, play the situation. It's third long. Don't let a receiver get behind you and make a catch to pick up the first down. Keep it in front of you and then let them catch it and come up and make the tackle. The Patriots need to get to the 27 to pick up a first. The Patriots take it from the 38. Throws oh my God. The Patriots don't have a lot of options on third and long situations. The pass goes incomplete, and the defense did a good job of staying back there and not giving up the deep throw. And a touchback here will bring the ball out to the 20. The Packers. Bill, what's the issue with this team? This offense specifically. Three straight drives without a score. Well, Jim, I'd say this. It's bad coaching. I, I just hate what they're trying to do on the offensive side. They're not putting their players in position to give them a chance to compete against this defense. They've got to they've got to change things up, give their offense a chance, and give these players a chance. And incomplete and get his feet down. Quarterbacks love to see a receiver uh, have this type of play. Even though he doesn't make the catch, the effort is outstanding, and he's given everything he has to make that catch. Bells out wide on the left. Get ready. Get ready. Get ready. Mallet standing back in the shotgun, ready for the snap. To Ebron. Ebron brought down after picking up just a yard. You can only take what the defense gives you. Even though the offense is down here in the fourth quarter, they throw it short. That was a smart play. Two minutes to go in the second half. Welcome back. Coming out of the two-minute warning here in the final quarter. The Packers get set at the line, needing to get to the 30 for a first. Third and nine.
going for it on fourth down. Crucial play here. Fourth down on the way. Going for the deep ball. Are oh, you serious? And makes the catch one handed, no less. Now on first down, every snap crucial the rest of the way. Jonathan Dwyer. Are you in your kitchen? Catch. Every freaking thing. Oh my god. Second down coming up. Time, obviously, a factor the rest of the way. If you think you can get a playoff quickly and not use a timeout, you go with a hurry up offense. Uh. That time, a good job by the coach and the quarterback. That's his fourth catch of the day. First down, pressure on every snap now. Timeout won't be used here. They'll go to the hurry. First and ten. Dwyer on the receiving end. Oh, my God. In the NFL, it's all about situations now. You're down. There's under two minutes to go. Good job by the offensive player. He picks up some good yards and then gets out of bounds and stops the clock. Mallet's now completed four in a row. The Packers are at the line of scrimmage with a spread formation. First and goal from the one. Catches the ball on the sideline, but does not get both feet down. Every play is huge now. Second down on the way. Goal line defense on the field. Second and goal at the one. And that's oh, a touchdown man. late in this one. Clearly, they're not ready to give up the fight just yet, but that touchdown may have come just a little bit too late. Well, you know, Jim, it's never too late in the NFL. I mean, listen, I remember one time we had a lead late against the San Francisco 49ers. I thought the game was over, and you know what happens. Hey, Joe Montana to Jerry Rice, that's right. I still can remember. He throws a long touchdown to win the game, so you got to hang in there and fight to the end. Yes. Everything hinged on them recovering that onside kick, and they failed to do so. Well, Jim, when you're doing the onside kick, you really got to hope for that perfect bounce of the football. That time it did not happen. That's why they didn't recover. The Patriots' offense getting ready to start this drive, and things are looking good for them at this stage of the game, partner. Yeah, this is where it gets tough, though, Jim. They got to find a way, make the right play call to get one first down. If you do that, that puts the other team in a very tough situation. That brings the play to an end. The Packers will call for the timeout. They need every second to be preserved at this point. Nice situation here for the offense. They're winning the football game. Now they're in the red zone. Let's see if they come up with a play that fools the defense. I the defense wasn't ready. I seven. thought I picked the wrong play. The Packers <laughs> stop the clock in a hurry, trying to hold on to every precious second. At the 20-yard line and now in the red zone. They run the counter play. Gurley's tackled down after a gain of five. The Packers will stop the clock here with this timeout, needing to preserve time. Yeah. Third down, following the run. Preseason, I'll give it a shot. Give him some experience. And he screws his opportunity up by dropping it, of course. Got to give the secondary credit. In this passing league now, it's hard to make plays, but a good play there and another incomplete pass. The kick is good. Coach's decision, this was easy. His field goal kicker is hot, so don't even hesitate. You send him out there, and what do you know? Another kick right down the middle. He's got a chance to return this one. Just across the 20 and tackled at the 21. The Packers offense comes out here, Phil, desperately looking to put the drive together that can give them a chance here late 
to win this game. Always the tough thing to do in a situation like this for the offense is don't try to make the big play. Let it happen. Take a short gain if that's what the defense has given you, especially on first down. Get this drive started by doing the right thing. They need to make something happen. They tried it right there a moment ago with the deep ball. No one would be surprised if they did that one more time. Yeah, I think they will, Jim, but the defense, they know the situation. They can kind of get back, protect the goal line, play that soft coverage. Hard to get a big play against it. Down the field. Are you serious? That's his third catch of the day. The Packers, last snap. Let's see what they can do here. Jim, good job by the offense here. Dude, they seriously caught everything left, this game. So you must get that football snap. See how many plays you can get in before the game is over. You've often talked about prime time and how the players of today have this it's all about me kind of a mentality and for you in the booth you had to enjoy it being all about you having a chance to call this one today all in prime right. time <laughs> that's right it's all about me and it would have been if i could have just got you to be quiet for a few minutes but it's awesome to win in hmm. a game that's featured in everybody in the country all this. your peers they watch you AJ it McCarran, just doesn't get better for 13 Oh for Phil God. Sims and all the crew at EA Sports, Jim Nance saying so long for now. 80, 12, okay. How many drops did I get? I got a lot, didn't I? I got no drop passes, really? What? Okay. Huh. Now, wasn't the greatest game at all, really. <laughs>